Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gridiron's Recap, sponsored by the attorneys of Keller and Holland and Love Local Off 53. I'm Dan Irons, out here at Friend High School, and a week ago, it was Barrington who lost to Hoffman at their homecoming, and tonight, Hoffman travels to Friend, ruins their homecoming, a 48-31 win. I got Aiden Sear, Jayshon Johnson here, four touchdown passes from this guy to this guy. Jayshon, just talk about your motivation and preparation for this week, knowing you're coming in to play an 0-5 team. Uh, we couldn't take them lightly. We knew we had a big win against Barrington. We couldn't let that get to our hands. We had to bounce back and come out and play them like they were a 5 0 team. Thanks, Jay Sean. Talks moved to 5 and 1. Let's get to the highlights. He's going to call. He's going to call? He's calling. Okay, so now we're going to flip a point. What do you want? Help him. Ask him what he wants. That's okay. Flip it. Homecoming for Frem Friday night, hosting Hoffman Estates, who look to spoil it. Pick it up midway through the first. Vikings, an impressive drive to start the game, stalled at the three. Had to settle for this Connor Cox 20-yard boot to give the whole team the early 3-0 edge. And they'd enjoy that lead for all of 18 seconds because on the Hawks' first play on offense, it wasted no time. Aiden Sear finds Jason Johnson for the house call. 61 yards to Paydirt, 7-3 Hoffman. That would be the score at the end of one with the Vikes on the march. Early second now, Fremier gains the lead when Caden Suchi finds tight end Bo O'Brien, who was busy all night long for six from the two. Vikings back on top, 10-7 at the 11-11 mark. Just over a minute later, it's Sear to sophomore Steven Sellers. Good for 39 yards in the score. Hawks back up 13-10 with 10 to go to the break. Hoffman's lead widens when Sear and Johnson hook up again, this time from 32 yards out. 19-10 Hawks with 4.28 to go. Hawks not finished. Facing fourth and one around midfield, they go for it and get it and then some. Into the hands of bruising back is Shua Pettis Taylor, who darts to the end zone for a 51 yard TD run. Two point conversion successful. 27 10 visitors at the break. Hoffman then received the second half kickoff, and just 34 seconds into the third stanza, it's Sear to Johnson for the trifecta, 37 yard pitch and catch, and the Hawks lead balloon to 34 10. Friend would not fall out silently, puts together a nice drive and answers on its first possession of the second half, culminating in a Jeremy Gerhardt one-yard TD run. 34-17 Hawks with 7.38 left in the third. Hawks just too much firepower though. Five minutes later, Pettis Taylor tacks on his second score from 13 yards out and the lead mushrooms back to 41-17 with 2.18 left in the quarter. Seven seconds into the final frame, Suchi still slinging it. Beautiful pass and great grab by Archie Cox. Cuts it to 41-24. You want to take a guess at who scores next? If you said Jason Johnson, you'd be right on the money. Snags the pass at the middle of the field, weaving through defenders and finds daylight up the sideline. 59-yard TD, eight catches, 227 yards, and four TDs on the night. If I could pick him up off waivers for my fantasy team, believe me, I would. 48-24 at that point, Fremtex on a late score to make it 48-31, but the Hawks roll on to five and one and leave the Vikings still searching for its first W. Well, hey, that's it from Friend High School for Gridirons. I'm Dan Irons. Go Hawks.